Hi, my name is Wade Moore. I am 23 years old and I am the founder of the new company Moore Engineering, which can be viewed at moore-engineering.com. I would like to talk to you today about what caused me to be so intrigued by manufacturing at such a young age, and I am going to introduce you to some legendary people that are the backbone of manufacturing in this country. But first, let me give you a brief summary of myself. I am the great-grandson of Richard F. Moore, founder of Moore Special Tool. My great-grandfather invented the Moore jig bore and jig grinder and revolutionized manufacturing. He provided world-renowned accuracy to an extra decimal place and invented new ways of measurement. He also pioneered the diamond turning technology. After 71 years, my family lost their company when I was two years old. This was a big hit to us, but my father persevered and started his own company several years later. He used more jig grinders we once made to do precision finish work on aerospace parts. Here is a picture of my father and grandfather. They both played huge roles in my life as a manufacturer and creator of mechanical parts. I spent a lot of my younger years learning from my grandfather. I really appreciate all the time he has spent teaching me on how to become a young machinist. Our first stop today is to see and visit him and talk about his book. Here my grandfather interviews me about the things he taught me when I was young. So I'm just going to talk here with my grandfather Pops, uh, Wayne Moore, about the book that he wrote. This is basically how I learned um, all about machining through his book, Foundations of Mechanical Accuracy. Um, what I like most about his book is it goes through from the basics, um, how to build machines. This is where they built all their machines at Moore Tool. And it starts out with flatness and it talks about mm -hmm. what flatness really is and roundness. Mm -hmm. And those are basically the principles of how to build a highly precision machine. Mm -hmm. And then it gets a little more advanced. Yeah, I got the illustrations. It gets a little advanced um, talking about the structure of the machines, how the column, the C column is built, and how that helps the machine with temperature. Um, it's, <coughs> as the spindle heats up and the machine heats up, um, you get uh, thermal expansion. This machine was designed to eliminate a lot of the um, air from all of that. What is, what is this one here? What is this? Oh, this is talking about the standard of length. It, this chapter talks about um, uh, what what is like an inch. What is an inch? How do you an inch is an inch? You know, this mm -hmm. shows how they developed. Um, is this fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is all his work. Mm -hmm. The next set of videos is to talk about one of my brothers, Hayes, and his endeavors as a young machinist. At 15 years old, he took on an intensive 34 credit manufacturing certificate program and is working part-time as a teaching assistant at a local community college in their high-tech machine shop. Hi, I'm Wade and I'm here with Hayes. Uh, we're talking about the local community colleges and how much money was given them to increase their manufacturing programs. See all the stuff they're working on here. There's really a lot of Money is action being put towards going um, American and keeping manufacturing in America. Mike Cougar, my, uh, I'm the program director of the Advanced Manufacturing Center here at Housatonic Community College in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bridgeport, where these machines were originally made. Bridgeport's a, a hub of the history of manufacturing, and these machines played an important role in uh, manufacturing throughout the last century, especially in World War II. Literally helped us win World War II by producing better, closer tolerance parts that were assembled into weapons and allowed us to win the war. Program. Hayes Moore to my left uh, was in our inaugural class and he's uh, moving on in his college career and uh, expects to graduate with a four-year degree. That combination of uh, a technical degree, uh, engineering degree, with the machining background is something that will keep him in good standing throughout his career. That ability to understand how things are made before you design them is going to eliminate a series of mistakes that book learned engineers make uh, for three or four or five as a Boy Scout, I had a great Scout Master, Mr. Scobie, who motivated me to earn the rank of Eagle Scout and learn what it means to become a great leader. 
He also taught me a lot of good machining practices. Here are a few words he has to say about his Herco mill. Let's visit him now. Okay, this is the shop here in Milford, and here's my shop master, Mr. George Scobie. Um, he uses a Herco machine here. I don't know if you can see it. But um, it's a pretty old machine. It's pretty reliable. Do you, what do you think of Herco? I, I love the machine. My next machine is going to be another Herco. I've been running this for, I don't know, 15 years, and it's going strong. And it, it's a great, little, great machine. Very easy to program. You program right into it. Right? Yeah, right, right at the board. I don't do any downloading. I don't use any master cam bot. I don't have any kind of a cat. Wow. So it's right, right, right at the board. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Ace. Mr. Scobie is now my landlord. I lease one bay out of his three. We went, we went through a lot of hardships when we first started together when our building collapsed from a snow load. Luckily, no one was hurt. Here is a picture of my first business challenge. I have met with some great business opportunities already. First off, because I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree from Yukon, I was able to succeed in a senior design project involving and testing an adhesive on helicopter skins with UTC. The engineers from Sikorsky were so impressed with our awesome display, which involved a helicopter rotor with stepper motors controlling it while it held 1,500 pounds of weight. This project has greatly helped me with my contacts at Sikorsky. Also, I helped a local organic farmer who manufactures soap with innovative molds. Machine tools can even help a small organic farmer. When Wade Moore came to me saying that he actually could bring my ideas to life, I couldn't believe how he designed a way to um, make my ideas become realities, my artwork, into the soap. Um, and I don't think, people ask me how it's done and what I saw is even hard to describe to people. And I hear that this Herco mill can even do a better job at, at helping build the molds that I need. So I'm really excited about this whole concept coming to life and how a Herco mill can touch many people's lives, even an organic farmer. The last great legend we're going to visit today is a man called John Butka. He has always been a great mo role model to me. He pioneered wire EDM and has come up with so many amazing different designs for taking on jobs that are seemingly impossible to most machine shops. I can't wait to share some of his wise words with you. But first, I would like to thank Herco and IMTS 2014 for putting together this challenge. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to show myself to the manufacturing community. Thanks. Don't take it all by yourself. You'll never get anywhere. There's a guy across the street, he's a multi-millionaire. He doesn't want anybody working for him. He doesn't want to pay the tax. He doesn't want to pay the unemployment tax. I says, you're nuts. I says, he doesn't trust anybody. And he's a multi-millionaire. So that's, you know, that's his forte. Yeah, that's too bad. But I can tell you this, you're going to have some tough, tough times. Yeah. This is that one job, this is the other job, this is the tail rotor of the uh, uh, Sikorsky uh, oh, wow. Fuge 53. All angles, radius, and, and that one dimension is off. Oh. And this, not one dimension out of 34 assemblies. And that dimensions, we had to struggle because I'll tell you, that bone on the inside has to be perfectly straight. Yeah. And That's it's got to be a 5 yeah. micro, 6 micro, and you got plus 1, minus 1. Yeah. And you have to be make dense.